Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video. Uh, today we're going to do a character guide on Steiner. Now Steiner is a character who is coming back as a side character um, on the Sarah and Charlotta cycle here of, of banners that are coming out in a couple days. Um, and what I'm trying to do is now I've done so many character guides on people and most of them don't need to be re-recorded when they come back. So what I'm trying to do is, since I'm not doing as many guides like constantly, I'm trying to kind of fill the holes. There are a few characters I've missed here and there, and Steiner is one that I missed. I never did a guide when he got a C90, uh, so we're going to get a guide in on him now to see kind of how he's looking. Um, he really should be unchanged uh, when he comes on the banner, so this is pretty much what you're going to see, right? So for those of you unfamiliar with Steiner, uh, Steiner is basically... Uh, He's a, he's a pseudo damage dealer slash like kind of buff support. Like he has a lot of buffs actually. So he's kind of a, it's, it's with his LD. He gets like a lot of buffs jam packed into his LD buff, um, which is actually pretty decent, right? So he's a buffer slash pseudo damage dealer. Uh, we'll see what his damage kind of looks like if it holds up uh, to today's characters, right? Um, so first we're going to go ahead and look at his calls. Uh, we'll look at his artifacts, his spheres, right? And then we'll do a little showcase. Um, but with his calls, I'm going to admit, um, his calls kind of caught me off guard because I actually think his calls are pretty good. And he's a character I never really thought about for having good calls, right? So his 15 CP call, nothing too crazy. This is just like an attack down on the enemy and it does like an attack. Whatever, not nothing too crazy. But the LD call is actually pretty dang good. Uh, so this gives a party HP damage up, brave gains up, HP regen up, and HP damage taken minus 30%. So when we look at calls, right, what are the things that we're looking for on good calls? Well, one of them is HP damage up. This has it. One of them is healing. This has it. Another one is defense. This has it. So the thing with this call, it doesn't do any of them the best, right? It's not the best HP damage up. This one's only a 10%. We have 20% and 30% ones, right? It's not the best healing because this is HP regen, which can be slow. They're straight up just burst heals you could get. Um, and then it has HP damage taken minus 30%. It's not the best because there's calls like Raijin that literally negate the damage or Rydia that makes you dodge, right? So here's the thing with this call. It doesn't do any of these things the best, but it does three different things you want in one call. So I think there is some value to it. It's actually a pretty nice little call. So if you get his LD, at least there's that. There is some use for that call. I think it's actually pretty decent. All right, so let's go ahead and look at Steiner himself here. And we'll go to the artifacts. Now Steiner's an old character, so it's pretty basic. He's a damage dealer. You wanna do an attack and max brave. Now with Steiner, Max Brave is really good because he does have battery that scales on Max Brave. And obviously as a damage dealer, you want attack. So I feel like this guy, just go attack and Max Brave as much as you possibly can on everything. So that's going to be for Spheres as well, which we're going to look at, right? So uh, attack Max Brave 330, I think that's hands down the best one you can do right there. Um, if you want to go full attack, he does have another one called Debuff Attack Up. So you're going to be doubling up on attack, but I like getting the Max Brave because... To me, Steiner's going to serve more as a support unit than a damage dealer, and so I want to increase the battery, so I would definitely focus on Max Brave over attack in that instance, right? Um, all right, so let's go ahead and look at the spheres here. So for the A slot, um, the typical damage dealer ones would be like your attack and brave damage, but once again, since Steiner is getting um, brave gain and battery off of Max Brave, I would say just do two attack Max Brave spheres. So Sephiroth would be an example of an attack Max Brave sphere, um, and then I've got Yang, that's another attack Max Brave sphere. I believe Gilgamesh is another decent one he can trigger, I think there's a couple other ones out there as well, um, but those are the few that come to mind as like the really obvious ones. Then on the D slot, being that Steiner's now kind of a support character, um, I would say go with uh, a party attack up and ideally party attack up with Max Brave. So I think Hope and Cisne are the two main ones. Actually, Queen is too. So Hope, Cisne, and Queen, these are going to be the attack Max Brave spheres you want here. Um, you could do Waka, which also does that, but Waka's is contingent on five buffs being on the character. So provided you know that your team will give Steiner at least one buff, you could run Waka. That could work as well, but uh, I just did Cisne because I had one, and dealing crits should be pretty easy with most characters. The only time crits are hard are when enemies can't be broken. Then it gets hard to crit if you're not actually running a crit character on the team. Um, but that's what I went with there. All right, so um, my Steiner, I'm not, I did not commit to Force Enhance 30. I, I don't, I have a lot of extra resources, but there's a lot of characters I want to Force Enhance 30. So Steiner's not high on my list for that. But everything else is maxed out. 
Um, his armor, we do have the Lufenia armor, but I have not plussed it yet. And then weapon, I did give him an Ultima weapon. So that should compensate for a lot. I think he should, should look pretty good with an Ultima weapon. We're going to get a pretty good look at him here. So let's go ahead and hop into the showcase. Um, and we're going to make him look really good. Sandwiching him between Luna, Freya, and Pinello, two of the best support characters in the game. So we will see what the damage looks like here. I'm not going to worry about force time. He doesn't have a force, so no, re no real reason to like go into that, right? So Steiner is going to be one of these characters that will open with EX. So you do want to just start with that. So we'll go through the EX first, and then we'll kind of move on from there. He does have a very important buff he gets from the LD, so we'll demo that second so you guys can see what that looks like. Uh, so with Pinello, we're just going to get both of her main buffs up. So yeah, if you're running Pinello, like sure, you could throw Waka. <laughs> you could throw Waka on Steiner. I mean, running the team comps I've been doing, like if you have like Garnet and Pinello, like you're going to have so many buffs, it's crazy. You could run Waka on anybody if that's what you're going to run. Um, all right, and then sure, I think I'm just going to drop the BT effect right away. <laughs> Let's make Steiner look good immediately. Let's just drop BT effects. Luna Freya is going to drop a quick prayer. Well, actually, the way we're going, we might not have room for a quick prayer. We'll see. I think Pinello's uh, buffs still aren't framed, so I think we should be able to overwrite that with a quick prayer. Oh, yeah, yeah. Steiner's got a couple of unframed buffs, so we can overwrite those. All right, so with Steiner, let's go ahead and start with the EX here. All right, and let's see what the damage looks like. So this is called Stock Break. Let's see what we got here. Okay, nice battery. AOE damage, 650k, uh, not the craziest. Usually on an EX, I'm looking for like a mil or higher, right? So it's it's okay, but his support might compensate for that, right? So stock break is a party battery. So the battery is nice, right? And then the AOE attack that we saw there. Um, and then he does get a buff called Captain of the Knights of Pluto. This is going to be a party attack up, max brave up, and overflow up. So very good buffs, right? I, I really see Steiner more as a support character now, right? Uh, let's quick prayer him. Sure, let's do that. And then I don't really want to waste time going through like an LD cycle or anything. So I'm just going to drop BT effect right away. <clears throat> we won't worry about heavy praying him. Oh, 10% battery warning. Special, uh, a special treat for y'all. Wasn't the 20% warning this time. We got the 10%. Uh, basically, I just recorded my should you pull video um, and then I hit the 20% right when the video like after I got done recording. So I knew we might see the 10% here. So we'll get through it though. We got enough. This won't be a long showcase. Uh, Pinello here. We'll just do a BT attack and move forward. Actually, do I need to throw a call on? That call isn't going to help me right now. Let's just go ahead. I don't think, well, actually we do kind of want to see like Steiner's like uh, he's got a little bit of tanking ability through his buffs, right? Yeah. See that one brave damage. So part of that comes from Steiner. Okay, and then Steiner taking like 3Ks, you know, he, he's just not as defensive of a character, right? Um, so we do get a free skill use. So if you wanted to, I think popping the AA is a pretty good thing to do on that. Okay, and then we're going to pop the LD. This is where a lot of his support comes. He drops a lot of support from this. So this is Flare Sword. And what do you know? Vivi's there firing up the sword. What do we got for damage there? Okay, about a mil with 7k. To me, that's competitive LD damage. That's decent. But remember, we got him souped up with an Ultima Sword, right? Uh, so the LD, big party battery, right? Scaling on Max Brave. He does so much battery on Max Brave, guys. You got to put Max Brave into this guy. And like you're seeing the damage. He's not a crazy damage dealer. If you're going to use Steiner, use him as a, a slot three utility support character. That's the way I would use him, right? Um, and he is going to get another free ability use here. So... Um, so, oh, actually, his first free ability use... Hold on, let me double check this. His first free ability use actually, I think, came from Luna Freya's Quick Prayer. Yeah, that might have come from Quick Prayer, actually. So this one now, he does get... The LD is going to give him, like, a free skill use here. Um, so this one is going to be called Right Behind You, Mister. This is the buff, okay? So this is the big buff. And this thing you want to upkeep... And it's six turns at quest start, but it's going to be nine turns after we pop the LD. But listen to what this has packed into it. It's got party defense up 200%. So a lot of defense. That's why the brave damage was so low on Pinello, only taking ones. HP regen. So he does heal, right? HP and brave damage gains up. HP damage taken down 30%. Full party brave regen. Uh, based on 55% of his max brave every action. So this buff is huge because you're brave gaining like crazy. You're going to be basically capped on brave with this guy. Oh, plus if you combo with other powerful brave gain characters. Um, 
but getting the HP damage and Brave gains, the, the huge defense comboed with the HP damage down, like, that is very good. So he's kind of got pseudo tanking in there in that he can keep the party safe. So let's go ahead now, another free skill use. That could be the AA, but let's go ahead and do Spell Blade Plus. We haven't done that yet, so let's see what the damage looks like here. Yeah, 700k, like his 15 and 35 damage, just, yeah, it's okay, right? Um... So Spellblade, so Spellblade, Spellblade Plus um, comes as long as he has another buff called Own Chivalry, Chivalry, which he does get with this attack. So as long as he has the Chivalry buff up, Spellblade will be the plus version. So it is a party battery, um, and then it is a brave hit and HP attack, and then he gives himself the Chivalry buff, uh, and then he gets a defense up and brave regen, okay? And then the Chivalry buff is attack up, max brave up, and a speed up. So basically, you just want to make sure you're using Spellblade often enough to upkeep that and keep that plus version up. So if you ever see Spellblade fall off to normal Spellblade and not the plus, it means that, that those buffs have fallen off and you got to use Spellblade again to refresh that, right? Um, but with that, I think that's basically it, right? We've already seen all of his attacks. Uh, yeah, there's nothing else we really need to see here. So that's... Uh, that's Steiner. We can just throw off his attacks a little bit more here as we go through. Uh, the one thing is, is the Spellblade, it does have fire damage on it, but it's his only attack that has fire, um, and he does not um, enchant or anything. So he's not going to be a consistent fire damage dealer unless you enchant him, right? So anyways, guys, there you go. That's Steiner. Um, his damage isn't crazy, but I think there's some value in his battery and his support, especially because he's got a combination of defensive support, um, he's got brave gains and he's got healing. He does have a lot of nice pieces. It's just, he isn't going to be the best at doing any of them. Right? So I don't know that y'all should like go out of your way to summon for Steiner. I think if you like him, you definitely can get some use out of him. Um, but he's definitely not top tier or anything like that. Right? So anyways, thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all on the next one.